Hi there. Phil Lardner here. You may remember me from such YouTube movies as Phil Lardner's Carbon Dragon Project and other such cinematic blockbusters. Or not, as the case may be. No matter. When Ireland was going into its second COVID-19 lockdown, I decided that I wanted to emerge from it with a new skill under my belt, and so I set about learning to use FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a super powerful parametric computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing package, similar to SolidWorks, Fusion 360, AutoCAD and others, but, and the clue is in the name here, FreeCAD is free, open source, unrestricted and under continuous active development. FreeCAD has numerous third-party plug-in workbenches, or collections of tools, that augment its already powerful built-in features, which make doing specific tasks very easy. There are plenty of reasons to choose any one of the many other CAD packages out there, but I chose FreeCAD because, being a programmer, I like to support open-source software whenever possible. Also, it's free. I'm not sure if I already mentioned that. You can download FreeCAD for Windows, Mac, or Linux, just go to the freecad.org webpage and click on the download button and then select your platform. Installation straightforward. If you want to learn how to use FreeCAD as a complete beginner, then I can highly recommend Mark Ganson's excellent tutorial videos on YouTube. Mark starts from the absolute first principles of CAD and explains how to use each and every tool in FreeCAD's frighteningly large array of tools. If you can cover one or two of his videos each day and replicate his examples, then you will quickly become proficient in FreeCAD. Once I had the basics under my belt, I set out to model the Carbon Dragon Glider in FreeCAD. I later modeled the Windrose Glider also, but more on that in another video. You'll find links to my FreeCAD project files below in the description, but for now, just let me take you on a brief tour of my partially complete Carbon Dragon model. For each and every part I modelled in FreeCAD, I imported the corresponding drawings from the original plans and scaled them appropriately. Here you can see a side elevation of the tail cone sub-assembly. Sub By clicking on the different view pane icons, you can see that the other drawings are also visible. Here is the plan view, and here is the end view. Returning to the side elevation view, we can make each separate part that I've modelled appear in its correct place, superimposed on the drawings. You can make a part visible or invisible by clicking on the part's name in the list to the left of the drawing window, and pressing the spacebar to turn it on and off. We can now look at this part from any perspective by clicking on the appropriate view pane icon in the toolbar. Side elevation, top, end, looking from the other side, looking at it from underneath, or from the front end. Or we can get a perspective view. You can also zoom in and out by scrolling on the mouse wheel. The zoom will be centered on wherever your mouse, pe mouse pointer is pointed on the model. You can also drag 
the view around the screen by clicking and holding on any part of the model with the mouse wheel button. This takes a little getting used to, but if you make a complete bags of things, you can always recenter the image uh, in the window by clicking on the fit all button in the toolbar. That's this fella. Clicking on the side elevation button brings us back to where we started. So let's see what's in my model so far. Here's the rear elevator cable pulley. It's centre bushing, an M5 nut, uh, screw, nut, washer, the left side support, right side support, top plate and sub top plate. Let's turn off the drawings just to make things a little clearer. You can turn on or off an entire sub-assembly in the same manner. Here's the tail boom assembly. Compression beam, pulleys, pilot part assembly, control system, I haven't done the main wings and flap rounds, vertical stabilizer or horizontal stabilizer yet, they'll come later.
There you have it. The Carbon Dragon, at least partially modelled in FreeCAD. Have fun playing with it. And remember, if I can learn to model in FreeCAD, then I guarantee that you can do it too. I'll do another video on my FreeCAD model of the Morphin Windrow slider later, so keep an eye out for that. Please like and subscribe, it really helps me, and lets YouTube know that this channel is still alive. Safe flying!